Hello students, Gator Special Online Information welcomes you and today we will discuss about like remaining part of your pollution. Already we have discussed like what types of pollution like air pollution, water pollution, your soil pollution as well as your like noise pollution. Okay, so everything we have discussed like in the last module like what are like your very important topics related to pollution as well as we also discussed like some impact related to your pollution like greenhouse effects and your like very important global warming. All issues just we have discussed in last module. Today we will discuss like some important remaining topics from like a pollution like a small small topic but very very important related to your UPSC IES exam because of like this small topics they especially put directly question many times guys many times like this question like eutrophication directly many times they ask okay biomagnification bioaccumulation everything like what like some small small topics are there but those topics are small but uh, they are very all very very important okay so you should understand all definition you should understand all uh, terms related to that and that's why just especially I am creating new videos for like small videos like for this special terms like last year video last to last video also just I created for important terms today again I am just creating just see okay bio accumulation first topic we will discuss from your uh, pollution part like remaining part bio accumulation first of all I need to suggest my old student already we have discussed food chain okay in our last module biodiversity we have discussed our food chain for example sir there are like producers are there okay producers okay then we have sir uh, our uh, consumers and we have just lastly decomposers okay for example this is like producers are there okay then we have consumers like primary consumers secondary consumers third tertiary consumers and finally we have decomposers okay so this is like one food chain structures are there already you know food chain structure or food wave or everything just we have discussed okay so sir what happens for example one pollutant is there okay one pollutant element is there for example one pollutant is there okay uh, like any pollutant element just in this food chain okay for example here some fish is there okay this fish is there and this fish eating mercury okay like in water some uh, like elements are there like some pollution pollutant elements are there for example this fish eating this pollutant okay so this pollutant like mercury will transform transfer from this producer to this consumer and this consumer to this decomposer okay that's why everywhere this pollutant will travel okay so this is this process is just known as your bio accumulation and bio magnification okay the process just everything just listen very carefully just see definition of what do you mean by bio accumulation bio accumulation means sir it refers to how pollutants enter in a food chain for example sir we have producer we have our consumers we have our like decomposers okay so sir how pollutant enter here for example one fish eat mercury that is known as your bio accumulation means sir how a pollutant pollutant already we know like uh, all types of different kinds of pollutant in last model we have discussed sir biodegradable like non-degradable okay like semi-degradable pollutant okay so everything we have discussed in last so sir how this this pollutants enter into a food chain for example one food chain is there how they will enter to first this stage okay then how it will travel that is known as your biomagnification so entering process just known as accumulation biomagnification means sir biomagnification refers to the tendency of pollutants to concentrate as they move from one tropic level to another for example here like pollutant level is 10 percent here 20 percent means how this increasing this pollutant level is just increasing okay in last model I will give some uh, different kinds of disease just related to pollutions okay like Minamata disease okay different kinds of things are there means sir that disease also cause this uh, biomagnification for example our fish just eating mercury and this mercury travel to like some words and words again just decompose and it will just uh, like uh, going like someone just eating that uh, words or something like okay flesh or some someone just eating like fishes fish also like using for food purpose or not for human being just for example eating fish okay so that fish containing like mercury and this mercury cause cancer to human beings so that is known as sir biomagnification means sir accumulation means sir how it is entering to our food chain and biomagnification sir how this travel from one level to another level for example sir producer to consumer consumer to decomposer or like consumers like primary consumers secondary consumer tertiary consumers okay finally it will decompose so mainly motto kya hai sir ki bio accumulation wo hota hai ki pollutant food chain mein kaise enter karta hai bio magnification kya hota hai sir ki wo food chain mein enter to kar gaya lekin wo 
बढ़ना चाहिए वो बायो एक्यूमुलेशन होना चाहिए फॉर एग्जाम्पल कि वो एक छोटा सा है वो बढ़ने लायक ही नहीं बिल्कुल छोटा सा पोल्यूटेंट है वो तो वहां पे डिकम्पोज हो जाएगा लेकिन क्या होता है कि सर कुछ पोल्यूटेंट नॉन डिग्रेडेबल होते हैं हमने देखा था लास्ट मॉड्यूल में सर नॉन डिग्रेडेबल ओके मतलब ये होता है कि सर वो डिकम्पोज होते नहीं है बहुत मतलब हेवी पोल्यूटेंट्स होते हैं ठीक है वो क्या करेंगे फूड चेन में एंटर करेंगे और एंटर करने के बाद में एक लेवल से दूसरे लेवल पर ट्रेवल करते हैं उसे बोलते हैं बायो मैग्निफिकेशन कॉन्सेप्ट ओके सो बोथ दीज टू कॉन्सेप्ट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिलेटेड टू एग्जाम जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड एंड जस्ट दिस लाइक बेसिक लाइक ऑल लर्न ऑल बेसिक डेफिनेशन नाउ सर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम वॉटर पोल्यूशन इफ आई जस्ट एक्सपेक्ट वन क्वेश्चन दिस ईयर द टॉपिक जस्ट यूट्रोफिकेशन ओके वॉट डू यू मीन बाई यूट्रोफिकेशन जस्टडे आई जस्ट डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक जस्ट रिलेटेड टू योर वॉटर पोल्यूशन ओके वी हैव वॉटर पोल्यूशन इन वॉटर पोल्यूशन सर वॉट एपन लाइक सम पोल्यूटेंट्स ओके पोल्यूटेंट्स मिक्स विथ अवर वॉटर ओके सो व्हाट एपन सर व्हेन यू वंस दिस पोल्यूटेंट्स मिक्स विद आवर वाटर आवर ऑक्सीजन इज जस्ट रिड्यूस्ड इन वाटर ओके दैट्स व्हाई ऑक्सीजन इज नथिंग सर डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन ओडी ओके ऑक्सीजन डिजॉल्व जस्ट रिड्यूस दैट्स व्हाई BOD increase yesterday everything just we have discussed what this BOD what this OD okay just listen again very carefully here for example sir uh, this uh, pollution increase and our oxygen level just decrease that's why bod just increase bod means sir biological oxygen demand last year one question directly from bod okay many time upsc just ask a favorite topics okay that's why eutrophication every topic is important okay so just go through step by step learn these topics everything is very easy guys very easy but you should go step by step okay so for example sir our oxygen dissolve increase and bod increase okay so bod bod increase means sir oxygen demand of water just increase okay that's why if oxygen demand of water is just increase means sir in in water we have we already study like ecosystem water ecosystem aquatic ecosystem okay for example here sir fishes also living some plants also living that's why they also need oxygen o2 okay but there is already like due to pollution like oxygen demands like oxygen bod just increasing and oxygen ox dissolve oxygen just reducing that's why these animals and plants need oxygen but sir we don't have ample amount of oxygen that's why the animals are going to be dead okay so this is like a big problem like that's why we are losing our uh, diversity so how like uh, one concept is there that is known as sir eutrophication eutrophication you know guys eutrophication is one important concept related to water pollution just understand we are using agriculture products okay agriculture we are using fertilizers okay fertilizers you are using for example this is like one land is there okay uh, okay this is like one structure like agriculture land okay for example here we are using fertilizers okay fertilizers we are using rain will come or like some water will go to some uh, river is there okay near to this agriculture field some river is there we are using here fertilizers so these excessive amount fertilizers just go to this pond or river or like any water body okay so this excessive excessive amount of fertilizers okay hum use karte hai na kheti ke andar ki wo urvarak aur khad okay wo hota hai fertilizer then what happen guys fertilizer is a big problem related to water pollution so what happen this additional fertilizer fertilizers will again what happen this will decrease our oxygen dissolve okay and bod increase that's why like uh, our animals and plants are going to be dead that concept is just known as eutrophication just understand and listen now very carefully what this eutrophication the addition of artificial or natural nutrition such as nitrates and phosphate okay through fertilizers okay like uh, sewage okay fertilizers through sewage and that fertilizers the ecosystem okay fertilize that ecosystem primary phosphate and nitrates containing fertilizers from agriculture lands into lake or river means what happen like uh, some uh, fertilizers containing like phosphorus or nitrate they will just mix with our uh, river or your lake water okay so what happen after meeting like they growth of green algae okay so what happen guys like algae one type of uh, again like uh, green color structure okay you know we have water bodies okay below water bodies for example in our water tanks also like uh, water tanks uh, our uh, we are using at uh, home purpose okay like eating drinking purpose water okay there is also some green color some structure okay like some plants just growth near to our water bodies that is known as your algae or algae okay so these are the very important things okay so what happen this this like nitrates okay fertilizers mix with rivers and they increase this green algae what happen guys this types of structure for example uh, this is like uh, fertilizers comes to this water and this structure of like uh, green algae increase and sometimes what happen this structures like this means increasing is just more means sir they 
दे कवर ओल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस वॉटर बॉडी ओके सो ग्रोथ ऑफ ग्रीन एलजाई समटाइम्स एलगाई कवर ऑलमोस्ट एंटाइट सरफेस लेवल इज नॉन एज एलगाई ब्लूम ओके एलजाई ब्रूम और एलगाई ब्रूम ओके सो वॉट एपन समटाइम्स लाइक दिस एलगाई इज दिस मच ऑफ इंक्रीज मीन सर दे जस्ट कवर ओल बॉडीज If they cover this whole body, you know, guys. Here, some plants is living. Okay. Also, like uh, plants are living. Your like uh, animals, like fish is living. Okay. Means sir, what happen? This is also need sunlight. This is also need sunlight. Okay. Plants need sunlight for photosynthesis process. Already we know how they will make their foods. Plants make their foods with the help of our sunlight. Okay. But sir. this algae will make some surface that's why sunlight pass is not properly okay because of this will stop uh, this sunlight that's why these plants and your animals will die because of sir oxygen dissolve decrease and bod increase that's why pollution or uh, our animals will die and this dead animals what happen this dead animals again decompose okay means uh, after uh, day after dying these animals or like plants they will decompose and for decomposition process also we need oxygen so remaining oxygen again just they will taken means sir oxygen is just very less in this water so that process is just known as eutrophication kya hota hai just listen very carefully for example sir hamare paas fertilizer use karte hain hum like agriculture mein wo beh ke aur kaise bhi hamare like river se mix kar jate hain like hamare pond se mix kar jate hain theek hai wahan pe bhi sir plants hote hain wahan pe bhi hote hain to wo ek जब भी वो मिक्स करते हैं तो वॉटर बॉडीज से तो वो उसमें एलगाई फॉर्मेशन करते हैं ठीक है कभी कभी वो एलगाई फॉर्मेशन इतना बड़ा हो जाता है एलजाई फॉर्मेशन इतना बड़ा हो जाता है कि वो ऊपर की कवर को पूरा ही ढक लेता है हरे कलर का आपने देखा होगा कभी भी आपने जो वाटर बॉडीज देखी होगी और अपन जो पानी का टैंक यूज करते हैं अपने पानी पीने के लिए उसमें भी कभी भी आपने ग्रीन कलर का स्ट्रक्चर एलगाई देखा होगा ठीक है तो कभी कभी क्या होता है कि कुछ वाटर बॉडीज होती है आपने अगर पोन्स को देखा होगा कभी कभी रिवर्स को देखा होगा कि उनके बहुत ऊपर स्ट्रक्चर में बहुत सारी जगह बिल्कुल हरे कलर का एलजाई जमा हो जाता है ओके सो उससे क्या होता है कि जो सनलाइट होती है वो उसको रोकता है और हमारी जो उस वाटर बॉडीज में इनर लाइक प्लांट्स भी होते हैं फिशेज भी होते हैं उनको ऑक्सीजन चाहिए ओके सो लेकिन वो प्लांट्स लाइक प्रॉपरली फोटोसिंथेसिस नहीं कर पाता है उसकी प्रकाश लाइट नीचे तक नहीं जा पा सकती है तो वो क्या होता है कि ऑक्सीजन को कम कर देता है उस इससे क्या होता है हमारे जो प्लांट्स होते हैं और जो हमारी जो फिशेज होती है वो सब मर जाती है और मरने के बाद में आपको मालूम है कि फूड चेन में क्या होता है वो डिकम्पोज होते हैं और डिकम्पोज प्रोसेस अगेन क्या चाहता है क्योंकि वहां पर बैक्टीरिया फॉर्मेशन होते हैं और वो अगेन ऑक्सीजन चाहता है इससे जो ड्राई हुई ऑक्सीजन होती है वाटर की वो भी वो ले जाते हैं सो उससे क्या होता है हमारा पूरा वॉटर पोल्यूटेड हो जाता है और इस प्रोसेस को हम कहते हैं Eutrophication, okay. So this process is just known as eutrophication. So algae bloom cover the surface of layer of restricted the penetration of sunlight. So it reduces oxygen demand, okay, dissolve oxygen, and BOD just increase. So BOD increase, sir. So plant in water or animals in the water due to that lacks oxygen, get problem and dead. Okay. So dead animals decompose and there and need more oxygen. So all this eventually lead to the degradation of aquatic ecosystem means sir like we are degrading aquatic ecosystem aquatic ecosystem means sir like there is not going to be like fishes or like animals living in water also going to be dead also your plants also going to be like dead so that's why finally sir we are making like degradation of that's why government just making like like natural fertilizers or like very less amount like phosphorus or these nitrates are using in our like fertilizers okay so this is going to be like big problem related to our eutrophication so that's why guys understand this all process just try to very important just again just listen very carefully for example sir these fertilizers mix with our rivers okay then they will form algae okay then after that what happen this algae will cover all surface due to that sunlight stop and due to that our like uh, oxygen dissolve in water is like uh, od dissolve oxygen just reduce so bod will increase okay and our like animals or like plants just in uh, they are going to be degrade okay so this is going to be like a process of eutrophication so this is over now sir we will discuss very important topic just known as fourth coral coral reefs and coral bleaching yesterday i given the topic coral reefs yesterday in last module like pollution we have discussed what this coral reefs okay now sir coral bleaching so before starting of coral reefs again i just want to give some basic idea related to your coral reefs okay so coral is actually a living animal okay you know guys some like oceans are there like sea seas are there okay so there one one important element just known as coral okay so coral is just one thing like one element is there that is known as living animal okay so what happen coral has a symbiotic relationship symbiotic relationship last year ies question directly what do you mean by symbiotic relationship symbiotic relationship is nothing sir it gives something to 
द अदर एंड गेट समथिंग बेक इन रिटर्न फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए एंड बी इज देर ओके इफ सिंबोटिंग रिलेशनशिप इज देर मीन सर ए इज गिविंग समथिंग टू बी एंड बी इज गिविंग समथिंग टू ए इन रिटर्न ओके सो दैट इज नॉन योर सिंबोटिक रिलेशनशिप ओल रिलेशनशिप हाउ लाइक अवर एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स जस्ट ओर लाइक लिविंग एनिमल्स ओके लाइक दे आर हाउ दे आर रिलेटिंग इच अदर वी विल डिस्कस सम रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन स्पेसिज ओके नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस बट जस्ट सिंबोटिक रिलेशनशिप जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट सर वी आर गिविंग समथिंग वी आर टेकिंग समथिंग just listen very carefully in coral reefs how coral reefs form one thing is there in our sea we have coral okay plus one thing is very important that is known as algae again algae this algae or algae okay this coral reefs corals plus algae just meet and they will create coral reefs okay coral reefs so what this coral reefs this corals will provide protection okay protection or like uh, provide protection to our algae and this algae production to food so how they are helping each other okay wo kya kar rahe hain ek dusre ko sahayta kar rahe hain hamare jo samundron mein hai wo coral paya jata hai aur wahan pe algae bhi hota hai so how they form coral reef because of sir coral will provide protection to algae okay wo less protected hote hain isliye ye usko protection provide kar deta hai lekin sir coral need food सो so, कौन उसको फूड प्रोवाइड करवाएगा एलगा ओके सो एलजा इसको फूड प्रोडक्ट करा देता है इसलिए वो क्रिएट कर लेते हैं कोरल रीप्स ओके एंड यू नो गाइज एलजा कलरफुल होता है ओके बट सर कोरल्स आर इन व्हाइट कलर सो वॉट एपन वंस लाइक कोरल एंड योर एलगा विल मिक्स ओके दे विल क्रिएट ए कलरफुल स्ट्रक्चर ओके दैट इज नॉन एज योर योर कोरल रीप्स so this is like a very important so this coral reefs is nothing sir combination of coral plus algae your coral will provide food and sorry your algae will provide food to coral and this coral will uh, provide uh, protection to our algae so this is like one structure uh, sometimes they will ask like uh, what uh, this the name of this algae some micro algae just there in our uh, sea or oceans okay so this is just one uh, element is there okay joxan thelai okay so this is like one algae is there okay so sometimes they will ask what which like algae just okay so this is like a name sometimes okay you can just pronunciation according to you because of some person just uh, pronunciation in different way so this is like one uh, important element like that is this is algae just founded and this will combine with our coral and create coral reefs okay now listen very important topic what do you mean by coral bleaching you know guys coral bleaching is nothing sir like fading of uh, like our color color of our coral leaves you know sir we know just listen we know sir our coral are just white in color pure white okay but sir our algae okay algae will just consist like some colorful structure okay so coral reefs coral reefs okay that will colorful okay that will colorful so sir what happen this is colorful but what happens a big advantage of this coral reefs are sir these are natural indicator of pollutant pollution okay if pollution level is increasing means sir our like algae will just decompose okay and that's why like coral color is just going to be change means what happens just listen coral is a white in color but due to algae they have color okay so this is already we know because of sir coral purely white but sir algae some color is there so uh, if they mix uh, like they will create coral reef and uh, this is going to be like with colorful okay one element is there that is known as coral reefs okay so this help to us to determine pollution level so what is coral bleaching just listen bleaching or the paling of a coral color occurs when two cases when density of micro algae decline so this is also for example just listen very carefully sir we have two things okay coral reefs okay coral reefs is there combination of your coral plus your algae okay so for example sir if their color is just uh, like uh, paling or bleaching means sir color ud raha hai unka for example wo colorful hote hain agar केवल कोरल को पूछे तो सर ये प्योर व्हाइट होता है एलगा कलरफुल होते हैं इसलिए हमारा जो कोरल रीफ बनता है वो एक कलरफुल स्ट्रक्चर होता है ठीक है इफ उनका कलर फेड हो रहा है ओके सो देर मे बी टू रीजन ऑफ फेडिंग ऑफ टू कलर्स और ब्लीचिंग और लाइक पेलिंग कलर्स सो फर्स्ट केस इज सर वेन डेंसिटी ऑफ माइक्रो एलगाई डिक्लाइन फॉर एग्जाम्पल सर दिस स्ट्रक्चर लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल 
50 to 70 percent algae just distracted okay that's why again this color will change means sir color coral leaf color is going to be changed due to decline of algae second case is just sir the concentration of a photosynthesis pigment in the micro algae just reduce due to some pollutions okay like we are not like this algae what is this the process why algae is important because of sir this algae provide food to coral okay and how they produce food with the help of our sunlight but sir uh, that process is just known as photosynthesis but due to some pollution like this is not providing a proper sunlight and uh, alga is not making perfectly food that's why again they will decompose and reduce this alga level okay again like uh, there is going to be changing in color so that's why this is known as your natural pollutant indicator okay so so coral bleaching is a natural indicator of pollution level okay for example like a 20 percent color just fade then you can just say sir 20 percent pollution if color is just like pure white okay again like our coral reef structure is there near to see is going to be pure white pure white means sir like there is a no algae there is no algae means sir there is a high pollution so this is known as your coral bleaching so there are two concepts just understand and very carefully that is known as your like a coral reefs and your bleaching so just understand next topic we will discuss sir biotic interaction you know guys already we have discussed what is this biotic interaction we already discuss here sir uh, this uh, coral reefs okay means sir this is known as your biotic relationship how one species just like this coral plus your uh, algae okay algae is just making like uh, they are providing protection this algae providing food okay so means that they are giving something they are taking back something means that both species is getting advantage so sir how like uh, in our uh, nature how like what types of relationships are there so just listen biotic interaction okay so organism living in the earth are the interlinked to each other in way or other way okay so like uh, everything like uh, human beings or like animals or our environment we are living uh, in our nature as well as we are also dependent to like pollutant like our uh, we are dependent to our uh, environment our environment dependent to like some plants like uh, ox like uh, our they are uh, depending on water bodies so everything like living things or non living things we are living there but maximum living things just dependent to each other okay so that is known as biotic interaction so just see the interaction between the organic is just fundamental for its survival and functioning ecosystem for example animal is there animal need food from where they will take food they will take food from plants okay so that's why that this is means sir animals just directly dependent on foods related on plants so sir this is like a biotic interaction and uh, if any there is no food there is no plant means sir animals cannot be survive so to survival we are just depending on each other so that is known as your biotic interaction but c1 table is there very important table like uh, last year they asked a question is 2018 direct mutualism or like uh, this symbiotic relationships is same okay means that just understand there are basically seven types of relationships between uh, like our species are there okay so this table just understand and try to understand very properly basically seven types of uh, first is just known as just listen mutualism mutualism just uh, i just created one table type species one this is species second okay just listen first types of relationship is just known as mutualism and species all plus species one just getting plus species second is getting plus what does mean what what does like positive means and negative means just see positive means are benefited negative means are harmed zero means are neither benefited or not harm sir in this first example like mutualism relationships where species one is also positive species second is also positive okay means sir this is also benefited this species is also benefited already we have taken one example in last uh, last uh, this uh, coral reefs means sir coral is also providing uh, L benefit to algae and this algae is providing benefit to coral means sir both are getting benefited that's why this is an example of mutualism means sir positive and positive so second just uh, types of relations just known as commensalism so this is like one relationship where one get uh, advantage but uh, second will not get uh, disadvantage and advantage only no harm is there okay neither benefited or not harm means that this is known as your commensalism just see second thing second thing just known as amensalism means that one get harm second will get nothing okay competition competition is just means that both are getting harm for example example of a competition is just like uh, animals are going to be like something is fixed okay and uh, this uh, this is a food okay like two tigers are there okay two tigers are there tiger one and tiger two 
बिफोर वन टाइगर हैव दिस फूड बट सेकेंड टाइगर इज कमिंग मीन्स दे बोथ हैव कंपिटिशन एंड दे विल गेट लाइक लेस फूड लाइक दिस इज ऑल्सो गेटिंग लेस फूड दिस इज ऑल्सो गेटिंग लेस फूड मीन्स सर दिस टाइप्स ऑफ रिलेशनशिप मीन्स सर कंपिटिशन रिलेशनशिप वेर बोथ आर हार्म मीन्स सर दिस विल ऑल्सो गेट लेस फूड दिस विल ऑल्सो लेस फूड फूड ओके देन नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ रिलेशनशिप लाइक प्रिडेशन और योर पेरिसिटिजम ओके सो दैट इज ऑल्सो मीन्स सर वेर वन गेट एडवांटेज सेकेंड विल गेट डिसएडवांटेज ओके लाइक हार्म लाइक वन स्पेसिज विल फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए स्पेसिज वन सेकेंड स्पेसिज ओके वन गेट एडवांटेज बट फ्रॉम दिस सेकेंड गेट like uh, harm okay just take one example for this uh, fifth and sixth uh, types of relationship just take food chain okay one is just producer one is just your uh, like your uh, just a food chain example i am taking just take okay uh, any any example related to food chain in food chain what happen like producer is there okay consumer is there okay like composer is there or decomposer final decomposer so producer all time produce something and consumer for example our plant is there and our animal is there so this animal eat this plant okay so animal get benefited but this plant is get harmed okay so these types of relationship just known as fifth and sixth your predation and your parasitic image okay so means sir one get advantage means sir our animal getting advantage by eating this plant okay they are taking energy they are uh, feeding their food but this plant is just die okay that's why second just harm so these types of relationship like this Se seven types of relation just known as neutralism means sir nothing is there no reaction means sir uh, nothing means neutral process not harm not uh, benefited both side both species are neutral okay so these types of a uh, like relationship in our biotic interaction for example i am just given one example related to your mutualism very important example is also there just see mutual relationship is there b okay bees are there and flowers are there okay one side our b and one side we have flowers okay so what happen guys this b is going to this flowers and they bees get the nectar nectar is important to producing like honey in bee okay so they will take nectar from flowers and they will create honey and they will provide pollen okay pollen is one stacks like one relationships uh, like when so they are uh, making some uh, relationships between like flowers okay so pollen is there so they provide this bees provide flowers pollen okay so that's why one process just pollination just happen due to this pollen so what happen guys flowers giving honey okay like nectar okay to bees and these bee okay just providing pollen to this flowers okay so again this is like relationship between mutualism so here like infinity numbers of example in our living relationships like uh, uh, like all uh, human beings also like dependent to someone or like how this types of uh, interaction is there so all things are there just listen and read everything very carefully basically seven types of relationships and uh, basically three four types of topics like what bioaccumulation what biomagnification eutrophication okay finally like what is this coral reefs coral bleachings everything just very important and finally just go to this biotic interaction just go there all notes uh, just a pdf format you will get in the description of this video just go there download there and read there so thank you guys for watching this video next topic next uh, tomorrow i will just provide one video only in pollution uh, like only one thing is there like waste management okay waste management so waste management we will just uh, study tomorrow and we will complete this our uh, this topic after that only single topic is there that is known as environmental impact assessment and environment ethics and we will just complete our syllabus so this is like a very important topics guys go through all modules and just try to read and again and again so thank you guys for watching this video thank you